Hello guys, in this video we will make joystick control project. We will interface our joystick sensor with our ESP32. So let's get started. First we will take our on interval even node. We will take our analog read node. To read the analog value of our x and y axis of our joystick, we will go to its property. We will configure our analog node. Pin will enter pin 36 this will uh, will rename our digital value parameter as x analog so our x axis analog value will be stored uh, here in the x analog variable we'll take a map node to map the analog value to map the abc value at a different scale we'll connect with the flow we'll go to our properties in the input, we'll pass our variable x analog, we'll scale it to 0 to 100. And in the output, we'll get our mapped value. We'll rename our variable as x axis. Click on done. We'll take one more analog node. Analog read node to read the y axis value. We'll, go, we'll select go to input and we'll configure new config. Go to pencil icon. We'll select our input type pin. We'll enter pin number 39. Click on add. And here we'll rename our output parameter digital value as y analog. So our y axis analog value will be stored in the y analog variable. Click on done. We'll take a map node. Connect to the flow. In the input, we'll pass a y analog variable and we'll scale it at a scale of 0 to 100. In the output, we'll get a mapped value. We'll rename the variable as y axis. Click on done. To read the push button value of our joystick, we'll take a digital read node. We'll take a read node. We'll connect with our flow. We'll go to its property in the pin number we'll enter pin number as 4 mode pull up only and the output will get pin level which will be stored in the pin level variable so we'll rename this variable as push button we'll take a display node connect with the flow in the display node will pass a uh, pass the expression which will display our uh, x-axis y-axis as well push button value x axis plus our variable of x-axis plus string y-axis Click on done. Verify the flow. And we are good to upload it. Let's go to our serial display. Select both. And as you can see, we got the x-axis and y-axis value with the value of our push button. So when the value of our push button is 1, which it means we have not clicked yet. And when it's 0, it means we have clicked our push button. As you can see. 
as you can see our x and y axis value got changed as we rotate our joystick 